Hey guys, what is up? It's Tori. I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing in this video because I am sick and sound like I am dying. So, I am just very excited about showing you my tattoos because I get quite a lot of questions and I think I would just like to address them now so no one can just make comments about my tattoos all day. So great. Now the first one is this one on my finger. I got this when I was like, I got this one when I was like 14 or 15, I don't know. Like same thing pretty much. Uh, my friend Morgan did it and it's a stick and poke. Honestly, I don't think it, look, it looks that bad and I like having it there. It just reminds me of like a time where I used to practice Satanism. Next one that I have is this one. I did this stick and poke myself. I know it's kind of crappy, but it's supposed to look like a sun. I'll probably get it covered up eventually, but I haven't. And then I did that one the same time I did my 21, just because I feel like 21 is my lucky number. And I was going through some shit when I got this. And yeah, so. Sometimes you just gotta get stuff in memory of like hard times. Mm. All right, I have a better setup now. But anyways, this 21 also, like both of my parents have a mole right here. So that's why I decided to get it on the inside of my finger because I figured like this number has been like following me around since I was like a little kid. So that's why I got it. And uh, maybe that would be a good finger to put it on because both my parents have a mole on that finger. I don't know why. Like, probably a lot of people have moles on that finger, but it was just like a deeper meaning to me for some reason that was on that finger. Um, so then my real official first tattoo that I got was on my 18th birthday. I got my back of my arm piece done. If you can't tell, it's an octopus. And it's just like holding this geometric shape in the middle. And I really love it. I was so happy I got it. It's like my first piece. And yeah, it goes pretty much down to my elbow. Cute. Oh my god. Yeah. I love this one so much. I love just looking at it in the mirror. I know it sounds a little ridiculous, but like, like, fuck, I bought it, you know, like, now it's there on me forever. Like, that's amazing. But I basically just got it because I just think octopuses look cool, and I didn't think I would regret it because it just looks like an awesome piece. Like, I'll always love having it on my body. And so there's only one person who's been doing my tattoos, like profession. His name is Eric and he's done all of my tattoos so far, like all my real ones. So yeah, it's good. We're like friends. So that's why it works so well too, because like it's good finding someone that you trust and that is not going to be basic. So yeah, I know I can go with any design I want. It'll happen. So Let's see, next one I got is this little tree right here. Now, they have a lot of these trees uh, in Colorado, and I've been going there since I was probably around nine, and I've been there three to four times before. So, I've just always loved it. Every time I've I've gone there and it just brings me back to a place that I feel like is my home and that I actually belong there and it just is the most beautiful place I've been so uh, the story actually behind it is last time I went there was with my boyfriend and my dad and his girlfriend so 
<laughs> it was the first day, and we went hiking, and Phil and I were not prepared at all. Like, it was a four to five mile walk there and then back. Like, so, I don't know. It was like, uh, I think there was like a mudslide or something in the middle of the trail, so we had to literally climb over that, and it was just like so much deeper, and we were so out of breath. So, like, after we got past the tree line, um... It just kind of reminded me of, like, there's more air there, like, there's trees, like, if you just look at trees, you'll be reminded to just take a breath and you can get through anything, pretty much, because when we got past the tree line, Phil Some altitude sickness, um, I did too, like, literally the next two days that we were there, we only stayed there for, like, a weekend, and my legs were sore, I was, like, in the middle of the night, just, like, rubbing them, like, not ready for that shit you know but it's just always a place that i want to remember and i think it was a good thing to learn like just take a second to breathe the trees are there to remind you to breathe you know like they literally produce oxygen for you so that's why i got that one i just like the little lines because it just reminds me of like going up in the atmosphere or something you know then the next one is this one right next to it. It's like a little geometric heart. Um, so I got this uh, for me and my mom. And we wanted to get something simple. So figured a heart would be cute, you know? Now I have like two hearts on me, so I'm feeling the love for sure. But uh, I just really like it. I thought it was like a simple design. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like make everything flow together you know like i have to think about this you know but we'll see i just like having something on both sides of my arms like i just want to be tied up honestly like if i could i would get like face tattoos and all that shit man it looks like i have a double chin it's because i do <laughs> and then the next one i got or the last one that i got touched up is my Foster the People Torches tattoo. Just a little flame guy in a suit. And I know it seems weird to get music tattoos, but music's the only thing that doesn't disappoint you, pretty much. It's just, like, always been there for me, literally since I was in, like, seventh grade. I've been listening to Foster the People. And they've just, like, grown, like, we've grown together, and, like, their first album really, I feel like, made me who I am. And that's, like, that with a lot of artists. I can say that with... My Chemical Romance, Nirvana, Foster the People, just, like, bands like that that I will always respect and have a place in my heart. So, yeah, that's the last one I got touched up. I... I guess I'm more on, like, the black and white side, you know, but I think I'm just gonna get more, like, black work tattoos. I want to get, like, a Hawaiian flower around my elbow, maybe? We'll see. I want to get, like, some of my drawings eventually on me, but that requires me to actually work on it, which I don't know if I can do that, so... No, I can, but... I just haven't been that motivated to, honestly. I don't know why. I think it's because... I don't try hard enough. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, ever since I was, like, little, I've always wanted tattoos. Yeah. I was that person who wanted, like, the half tree tattoo, half bird flying away tattoo. I wanted that for so long. Honestly, I'll still probably get something that kind of reminds me of it. But we'll see. <laughs> I don't know, probably not. Um, but yeah, I'm like in the middle of watching Breaking Bad. This is what I do with my time. Isn't that crazy? Um, but okay, anyways. The last tattoo I gave myself is this one. It's a little heart. It's pretty like faded now. It does not look that well, but uh. Oh my god. Oh, my nose is running.
Honey, you should just use the tissue, but I'm disgusting. Uh, yeah. I'm, I don't know how to zoom in on things. I think this is my issue. Oh, weird. Okay. <coughs> but I hope you liked this little sit down with me and talk about my tattoos. I don't really like talking about like pain and shit because everyone feels it differently. Obviously, if tattoos are something you want, you deal with the pain no matter what, you know? So, I don't really care to speak about that, but... <sighs> Trying to make myself not have a double gym. Like, really. Oh, I almost forgot this one. This is just like a little leaf. And a twig. Yeah, I have pimples and shit. I was gonna, like, put on makeup. I was like, Fuck it. They wanna see the real me. This is, this is all me. Every, 100%. You know? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I totally forgot about this one because it's, like, the only one on this arm. But I got this by the same girl, Morgan, who did this one. And she also did Phil's tattoo, the only tattoo that he has. It's like a little milk carton with a smiley face. And yeah, I like this one. I never really like notice it, honestly, because I'm always looking at like at on this arm. So I can't wait to get more, honestly, like it's all I want. When you realize you say honestly like five times in a row. Oh. Like, oh, like I'm another right now. This is time to do something else. Uh, yeah, I have to work today at three. And fuck that shit. I don't want to work. Uh, because I have to work till 11. I don't like working at night, honestly. It's like, what the fuck? Why can't I just put sleep in or something? Also... I've been trying so hard to style these bangs, like, who told me it was okay to do these bangs? I think I heard, like, one comment of, like, oh, that'd be cute. And I was like, oh, okay. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna edit this so I can move on with my day. But I hope you liked it. Oh, my God. Yeah. But if you haven't, please just, you know, give me a good old like and subscribe, you know? Maybe maybe I'll make something else, you know? Something crazier. Like exploring Target with me. What is going on with me? I can't speak because I'm literally so disgustingly sick. So, thanks for watching. I hope you like my explanation of all my tattoos. Um... Yeah, I really feel like tattoos don't really need to have that big of an explanation, so I'm trying not to make this video go on any longer than it has to. Give me some ideas for videos, maybe, because I don't have any. Alright, bye.